Get the installation instructions by scanning the QR code on the box. Start by removing the stock cooler from the GPU PCB. Remove the six screws from the backplate and lift it off the GPU. Remove the I.O. bracket by unscrewing the two screws. Keep the screws and the I.O. bracket, as they will be reused later. Next, we move on to removing the PCB. There are 11 screws in total. Start with the retention bracket in the center. Make sure to hold the bracket down while removing the four screws, as it is under tension. Keep the four screws and the retention bracket, as they will be reused later. Remove the remaining seven screws from the PCB. Gently wiggle the PCB to loosen the thermal pads and thermal paste. Slowly lift it to the right to access the cable connectors. Disconnect all five connectors. Remove the PCB from the stock cooler. Clean off any leftover thermal pads and remove the thermal paste from the GPU die. Now for the fun part. Unbox the EK water block and start by removing the back plate from the block. Unscrew the five screws, but do not remove them completely. They must remain in the back plate held in place by the black spacers. Remove the orange protective caps as they are not used. Unbox the mounting kit and thermal pads and arrange the pads by size. Apply the thermal pads according to the installation manual. We start with the VRAM pads. Remove the protective foil from one side of the thermal pads. Next, apply pads to the six smaller chips and the VRM section. When placing thermal pads on the VRM MOSFETs, make sure to keep the pads slightly away from the edge. They should not extend past the metal as this would be visible through the plexi. The pads for the inductors need to be cut to length. Do not forget the six separate inductors. Lift the block off the table using the box as support and remove the protective foil from the other side of the thermal pads. Apply thermal paste to the GPU die. We recommend using an X pattern. Attach the I.O. mounting bracket using two screws. Place the PCB onto the block and make sure all screw holes are properly aligned. Install the I.O. bracket using the two screws that were removed earlier. Install the retention bracket using the four screws in a cross pattern. Make sure to hold the bracket down while tightening. Install the three screws with PVC washers. Do not forget the final screw at the bottom which goes through the PCB and the I.O. bracket and is secured with a nut on the other side. Before installing the backplate, apply the final thermal pad on the power connector side. Secure the backplate by tightening the five backplate screws evenly. Installation is complete. Enjoy.